Our next guest is having a huge year as the breakout star of the incredibly powerful film, Judas and the Black Messiah. Please welcome the very talented Dominique Fishback. Yay! Hey, Dominique. Hi, Dominique. Hi, Hi everybody. Oh. Hi. My goodness, welcome to the show, Dominique. Now, we hear you're making your daytime talk show debut. Yes. Thank you for choosing the real. Yes, thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> We are so honored to have you, Dominique. All right, you are getting rave reviews for your role in Judas and the Black Messiah, and recently you actually were nominated for your very first NAACP Image Award. How are you feeling right now? I watched it and thought you were absolutely spectacular. How are you Thanks. feeling? Well, this I'm, I'm feeling amazing. This uh, nomination is actually for Project Power that I did last year with Jamie Foxx and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And um, I'm really excited about that one because that character, she was 16 and she reminded me of my 15 year old self who just wanted to be in movies, who was a spoken word poet and kind of a, a tomboy doing all the sports with the, with the boys. So it was kind of a manifestation of me at that age. And so to be getting this honor is just, is exciting. It's perfect. <laughs> Well, that's incredible, and I'm sure you have a lot of new fans since that movie, since that came out, and this movie came out. But have you heard from anyone that kind of surprised you? Well, one morning I got flowers from Kerry Washington, and then that was amazing. Ooh. Yes, yes. And what? then uh, actually, um, Tia, I, I became friends with uh, with Tia Mari Hardrick on um, Instagram, so that was pretty fun. And uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Now, um, first of all, you were great in The Black Messiah, Judas and the Black Messiah. And for those that don't know the movie, it tells the true story of the assassination of Fred Hampton, the chairman of the Illinois chapter of the Black Panther Party. You play his fiance, Deborah Johnson, who now, who now goes by the name um, Akua Najiri. And you were actually able to meet her a few times and you posted a picture of the YouTube on the set where it looks like you were crying. Yeah. So what was going on? Honestly, uh, Dan, both Dan Kulia and I, we really wanted to, we prayed to be vessels that the story could flow through us. And we went to Chicago and sat around a table with the family for seven hours. And they asked us why we Ooh, wanted to wow. do this role. And it was uh, pretty intense. And uh, by the end, I just gave Mama Aku a hug and said, I hope you know my heart. And she said, I do, I just have to give you a bit of a hard time. So on set, that was the first time she came to set. It was like my second time becoming her. And they said, Mama Ku is by Video Village. I said, well, I know where I'm not gonna go. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then afterwards they said, she wants to see you. So I go downstairs and she says, you did that scene. That was a Deborah Johnson up there. You did that scene. So it just felt like um, a weight off my shoulders. I knew we had a, a huge responsibility. She's still with us today. I just wanted to honor her. And there's not a lot of footage of her at that age. So I really had to go based off mm -hmm. of instincts and not really um, researching a lot of things. So to find that I was um, so much in line or aligned that she would see that was just an honor because I was really trying to give everything I had to their story. Yeah. You killed Fabulous. it. Yeah. And how did you prepare for such a role? Yeah. Um, so Shaka King, our, our director, co-writer, he actually offered for me to write the poem that she shares with Chairman and Fred in the movie. And when he offered me to write the poem, it kind of gave me an idea like, can she have a journal that she carries around? And he's like, yeah, so I journal as all my characters, whether it's Darlene on the deuce or anything like that. But for this one, because the, the journal was essentially a prop, I really wrote poems and moments for every monumental time that her and Chairman Fred shared. So the first kiss, the first time they see each other, really taking it serious. Like they would want to keep the journal on set as a prop. And I'd be like, no, you can't take this. This is private. So I really, yeah. <laughs> so I just um, a lot of journaling. I did a lot of research before we got on set, but at that time it was just watching Dane take up space. How does he move? How does that influence me? And really allowing myself to, to go with the flow and be present. So great. That's great. Well, Dominique, we actually have a clip of your character reading your poetry in the movie. Let's take a look. I'm gonna share something with you. Like the masses, I was in awe. 
when I first laid eyes on all the things you are. I heard that speech and when that indent pierced your cheek, I knew we make noise. I just, I thought it'd be in the streets. What magic a, a Philistine and a poet could create. A Philistine? What you call a Philistine? Seriously, come up to me right now. So Fabulous. good. It's so good. So precious. Speaking of poetry and journals, like you said, you've been journaling since you were a kid. And we heard that back in the day, you would actually write down notes of how you would have played scenes differently in the show Sister Sister. Is that true? And yeah. should we get Tamara on the line? Yes, please, please do all out fangirl. Yeah, yes, it is true. I don't, I don't remember exactly what I wrote, but I used to stay up and just have this in the margins. I would write, I would write out the scenes like Tia wrote line and Tamara line, and then in the margins I would write whatever it is that I, I wow. thought in my mind. I can't even tell you what it was. That's incredible. <laughs> but that That's is cool. incredible. You know what? You have a bright future ahead. You are just mm -hmm. doing it. And thank you so much for coming and chatting with us today. Congratulations on and continued success, girl. All right. Mm -hmm. Judas and the Black Messiah is streaming now on HBO Max. Trust me, you do not want to miss this movie.